Hallelujah. God bless you. I'm so glad that you're with me today. Uh, Pastor Harris, once again, bringing a, a quick five to seven minute word of encouragement. And we start with our title, which is a word of encouragement uh, itself. And that is Christians, it's time to go onward and upward. And we're going to start today with the book of Job. Job in the 27th chapter. And verse 5, it says, God forbid that I should justify you till I die. I will not remove my integrity from me. I want you to look at that word, integrity. Uh, Job ran into a situation where he had people around him that uh, their integrity could be questioned. Okay? They were people of opinion. They were people that thought they knew everything. They were people that were never wrong. <laughs> Do you know anybody like that? And uh, Job gets into his own integrity. You know, he, he's not going to allow these people. Judgment, critical, always right, never wrong. And he says, you know, I'm not going to allow you guys to mess up my integrity. And so it is, it is important as we continue to strive to move onward and upward that you have people around you that are people of integrity. I hope everybody can, can grab hold of this. I, I'm encouraging you to move onward and upward, and, and upward, but also one of the things that will help is people in your life being folks of integrity. I want to touch on something that uh, a lot of you already know. Just because someone is a born-again Christian doesn't mean that they are people of integrity. Okay? Uh, I've been, been doing this, uh, preaching and teaching the gospel since 1980. And I have ran across tons of Christians, okay, 40-some years. And believe you me, there's a lot of Christians that have no idea what the word integrity even means. Okay, lying, <laughs> creating stories, spreading gossip, uh, disrupting churches, uh, mayhem in relationships. Wow. People, born-again Christians that love the Lord, but they just like stirring up mess. That's always got to keep mess going. It's always got something negative to say. And, and it's people already always just got to drop suspicion. Mm, you know about this? You hear about that? Really lack of integrity. But they're born again Christian. And recognize the fact of what it means to be born again. It is simply you have received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You accept the fact that he died on the cross. He rose again. You confess. You believe that. And many people, they leave their Christianity there. They're saved. But where they don't grow is in change, character change. Okay? A upgrading of your character. I'm all done with lying, stirring up mess, causing a bunch of problems, being a, a, a jerk. At, at one time in my life in pastoring, I was so dismayed, I came up with the title, The Christian Jerk Society. There were so many of them. Just, gosh, where's the love of Jesus? Where's the fruit of the Holy Spirit? The Christian Jerk Society. Out of control. People that are clueless as to what the word integrity means and treating folks right. And so I encourage you today that have folks around you that are people of integrity, honest people, folks that are not interested in, in, in tearing down a church, destroying another deacon. I'm going to take out that woman evangelist. I'm going to bring that pastor down. I'm going to spread a bunch of nonsense and lies all over the church. You don't need that. Those are not people of integrity. And believe you me, in my 40 plus years of, of teaching, preaching, 
Bible study pastoring. Uh, we started uh, Tacoma Christian Center way back in January of 1982. Before that, for a couple of years, we were a home Bible study. And I've seen people, Christians, with acts of destruction through their words and mouth. Okay? They're not people of integrity. Onward, upward, surround yourself with people of integrity. Okay? I encourage you to do this. All right. Pastor Harris reminding you, have a great day. Thank you.